Hello and welcome to my first project uh, for the ArtStacks artist team and I'm so excited to show you what I made with these wonderful paper kits uh, from ArtStacks. So Heather McMahon, I think uh, you pronounce it, I'm so bad at, at the pronouncing sometimes, um, and her daughter Courtney McMahon have uh, uh, designed the papers themselves and um, yeah just released them so I'm so happy to be a part of uh, making something works <laughs> I hope it will be pretty but um, yeah I'm really proud of being a part of uh, their artist team and I'm just starting with adding a bit of uh, a lot of scraps actually I love using scraps for my um, base and for backgrounds so these are just random paper scraps like you see, I'm adding them with ordinary glue. And uh, then I'm adding my transparent gesso on top. And here are the door, some of the door and windows kit. And I really love them. They are so pretty. And some of them are rice papers, kind of transparent rice papers. And this one with the windows I really like. It's like a plastic sheet. So here is the doors and window kit and, and I'm going to use one of the doors. But first I'm going to add some uh, colors and this is a spray from Dilutions and the color is uh, Camp So Teal and I really love that color. It's so vibrant. So I'm just adding a bit and now I'm using my Ecoline liquid watercolors and they have just numbers for the different colors and um, I think I'm using I'm using 236 and I think it's 311 <laughs> but I'm not sure because I have so many drippage on top of it so I'm just adding the door here and I also want want the windows so I'm using the rice papers for that to add beside the door and I'm using my transparent gesso for adding this also it works really well. I use my transparent gesso for nearly everything. <laughs> for gluing and like varnish and everything. And another window. And I like that when you add the gesso it's become, yeah, transparent. And this is another kit uh, from ArtStacks. Anem anemones and friends or do you say anemones I don't know I'm not sure <laughs> but it's a rice paper in that kit also and I want to use the flower here and another one they are so pretty so it's so easy to just add some detailing with those papers I'm also cutting out <laughs> a black cat that I want to sit in the window here and here is another page with a lot of different wordings from ArtStacks and this is uh, in the windows and doors kit but each kit has a different paper with words to match and this uh, wording I choose says an open mind is like an open window it lets the fresh air in and it's a quote apparently from someone called Mike Hernaki so I'm just adding it here and I'm adding some more of my transparent gesso on top and now I'm using my Derwent pen for some shading around around the text, the wordings, and around some different other parts. And I like to have some um, shades around. And it's the color bark, so it's not black, but it's dark brown. So I'm just adding a brush with water just to dilute it a bit and make it softer. And now I'm gonna use one of my homemade stamps. I love making homemade things and I have a lot of homemade stamps uh, that I make out of craft foam. So this is the finished project and I hope you 
enjoyed the process and the finished piece and um, yeah that you <laughs> could keep up with my somewhat chaotic process that's how I work and uh, yeah but I really love these papers and you can make so many pretty things and this is just a few of them that I used so head over to Artstacks to to purchase them if you if you felt inspired and want to have some of your own paper and uh, yeah I will link to the website down below in the description of course and uh, yeah so head over there and you will see a lot of different projects and blog posts and stuff <laughs> yeah so I'm really happy about my first project and I hope you are too so thank you for watching and have a nice day Bye.